developing right now. It could be decision day for a teen accused of stabbing his mother to death in Hialeah. A judge could decide today whether he'll be transferred back to juvenile detention. And local 10 News reporter Leanne Motahong joins us live from Miami with the witnesses being called today in this case. Leanne. So early this morning, we heard from an instructor. He works for the Miami-Dade County School District and teaches lessons to inmates in that juvenile wing of Metro West. It's where Derek Rosa is currently housed. He is the youngest inmate there at age 13. His defense team wants him moved out of there. The state says he's okay right where he is. How did he respond to your instructions during those classes? Uh, like any other normal kid would. An instructor at Metro West's juvenile wing discusses Derek Rose's behavior behind bars, where he's kept alone in a cell under 24-7 supervision. Instructor Darren Odin says Rosa occasionally yeah. is able to leave his cell and continue his middle school education. At least three times a week. And is that 60 minutes each time that he's out? Yeah, I would imagine so 60 to 90 minutes every time he's out. The hearing is part of an effort by the defense to get the 13-year-old out of Metro West and into a juvenile-only facility as he awaits trial. He's accused of stabbing his mother, Irina Garcia, 46 times to her death inside their Hialeah home. I woke up and went to the kitchen. I grabbed one of the kitchen items and then I went to her room and then I ate. It's okay, it's okay. I hate it. It's okay. In court Thursday, the judge heard Rosa allegedly confess to the crime. His grandmother visibly anguished as she listened. Yes, she was Rosa also explained his last words to his mother. Did you have anything before he stabbed her? Spanish. The lead detective in the case also testified that Rosa made several incriminating Google searches on the night of the murder. The carotid artery image diagram. What is the best place to stab someone? Is a small knife good for killing? So testimony is expected to pick up again at 1.30 this afternoon, which includes an expert that is testifying via Zoom from another time zone, as well as another instructor who has had contact with Derek Rosa behind bars. Stay tuned to Local 10 for the very latest on this hearing. We could have a decision later today. For now, reporting live here in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.